President Akufado says government has made available an additional 100 million CDs to boost arts and culture. In a statement read on his behalf by the Foreign Minister Shelly Ayokoboche at the launch of the domestic and regional tourism program in Accra, he noted funding is needed to address low-quality tourism assets, facilitate comprehensive marketing brand and promotion strategies. The development of a strong local tourism sector has become even more important with COVID-19 and its uncertainties. Over the last few years, domestic tourism has seen a steady growth in Ghana, peaking in 2019 during the year of return under the Eat Ghana, Wear Ghana and Feel Ghana initiative, but saw a sharp overturn following the COVID-19 outbreak. The introduction of the domestic and regional tourism program forms part of efforts to revive the tourism industry despite the pandemic. President of the Ghana Tourism Federation, Bella Ahu, pleaded with stakeholders for financial support. We want to appeal to our Honorable Minister that we need funding a softer loan facility, a loan facility that where you will be able to complete your facility before your service time is due, so you will be able to pay this loan. The Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Dr. Ibrahim Mohamed Awal, hinted of plans to establish iconic tourist sites in all 16 regions beginning this year. Our packages will include educational tourism, where schools and universities would go, on tourism, would go around the country, business tourism, where corporate institutions would go around the country, and religious tourism, where religious bodies would go around the country, feel it, have it, excite it, eat it. Through that, we are creating a sense of national unity and cohesion. And through that, we are receiving income from the urban areas to right areas and create jobs in the area. In a statement read on his behalf by the Foreign Minister Shelly Ayoko Butri, President Akufuado urged the industry players to work and revive tourism in the country. I urge the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture and the Ghana Tourism Authority to collaborate with public and private sector entities to remove constraints to the development of tourism in the country. She noted government has made available additional 100 million Ghana cities to the tourism ministry to boost and expand domestic tourism. The amount will help to address key constraints such as low quality of tourism assets, targeted transformation of Ghana's tourist beaches, and reducing other high costs of doing business in the sector.